What is up everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm so excited to be back and teach you guys some new tricks. So let's dive right into this new trick. Alright, so this trick is a little bit of self-working and I think you guys will really like it. So before I perform it and explain it, give this video a big thumbs up for being back. Comment below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And now let's begin. Alright, so this is a completely normal pack of cards. Nothing special about it at all. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit off the top, and we're gonna have a chosen card selected. So let's go with this one right here. And this card is gonna be your card, okay? And now what we're gonna do is do a few shuffles. Nothing too fancy about it. And that should be fine. Now I'm gonna bring back the other deck, and we're gonna find the two queens. The two queens are going to help us with this trick in finding the selected card. So what I'm going to do is place one queen on top and place one on the bottom. And now we're going to use a few simple words to help us with this trick. So let's begin. So between B, E, T, W, E, E, N, the, T, H, E, Two T W O Red R E D and lastly Queens Q U E E N S. Now let's see what that did for us. As you can see, there's one card between the two red queens, and that card is our chosen card. Alright, so now for the reveal. Again, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment below to show your excitement for me being back. So, this trick is simple, easy, self-working, and amazing. So, all you need is the two queens, obviously, a normal pack of cards, a gaff card, I guess you would call that. Um, you could do this various ways, but this is the simplest form I found to do it, and it works great. So this gaff card is just slightly cut a little bit more than the other cards. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's just I cut off just a little bit, just a little bit with the razor, just a little bit off the top, so they're a little shorter than the regular cards. All right. So here is the full setup. So take your normal pack of cards, place the gaff card right on top. Okay. And then what you want to do is Take 13 random cards, doesn't matter which cards they are, just 13 of them, and place that right on top of the gaff card. Now what you want to do is place your two queens anywhere past the gaff card in the deck. Okay, and how about right there? So good. And now you're all ready to do the trick. So what you need to do now is just show off the cards. Don't make it too obvious, you know, just you don't even have to say anything, just riffle through it and just say it's a normal pack of cards. And now what I did is I, look, I looked for the break in the cards where the sh card is shorter and I grabbed it. So now this is the 13 that we have on top of the gaff card. Okay, so you wanna make sure you just grab the 13 and don't make it obvious, just say, you know, just grab them and just say, well, cut off just a little bit right there. And then you can place these cards to the side for now. Now what you wanna do is have the spectator choose any of the cards, it does not matter which one it is, and have them look at it. So we have the Jack of Spades right here. And now what you want to do is place their selected card on top of the deck. And now what you want to do now is control it to the bottom. So what I did is just an overhand shuffled, and now it's on the bottom. And then you can do false shuffles by just grabbing onto the bottom one and top one as you do that. And super simple if you get it down nice and quick and it looks like you're actually shuffling but it's still on the bottom. So now what you want to do is bring back the other deck and just go through it and say you need the two red queens for this trick to help you find where your card went. Okay and now you'd go with these cards. So what you want to do is place one of the cards on top and one on the bottom where their card is and make sure you don't show the bottom and just place it 
like that. And now here is where the trick begins. So what you want to do is count down the cards with the letters corresponding to it. So the letters you are doing are words between the two red queens. Okay, so the first word between B E T W E E N. Place the remainder of the pack on top. The T H E two T W O red R E D queens Q U E E N S remainder of the pack. All right, and now what we can do is spread them out on the table however you want and you will have a card between the two red queens. Take the rest of the pile, discard them, don't need them, and then you're ready for the big reveal to show them that their card has been somehow forced into the middle of the two queens. Oh.